today we're gonna do paleo mashed up with vegan. <laughs> Uh, and to introduce us to that thought process uh, is Dr. Mark Hyman. Please welcome him back to our show. He's answering the question of what to eat and how to eat with a book that I think is so cleverly titled, Food, What the Heck Should I Cook? That's his latest book. It's so cute. What a great, great title. What a great concept. So it's basically focusing on eating real whole foods. Gotcha. Plant rich. Great. And using good quality, because food is not just calories, Rachel, it's information, it's medicine. It literally speaks to every it cell really in your is. body and tells you to be healthy, be sick, be thin, or be overweight. And it's so powerful when you understand how to use that. So we're gonna talk about how to do this using the Pegan Food Pyramid. So and that's what that's we're looking what we're at looking here, at. right? And, and here's the deal, we're going to go shopping at the pharmacy. That's pharmacy with an F, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y, because- Farm. Pharmacy, get it? right? Farm. <laughs> right, this is where you should get your drugs, okay? Right. And, and the first thing we're gonna do is, at the bottom of the pyramid, is lots of starch, non-starchy veggies, lots of color, because where the color is is where the medicine is. And gotcha. you can get unlimited refills, so you can as and much as you, you want. And if you eat a rainbow, you don't need to take a ton of pills. No, you don't right? eat all the colored pills, right. just eat the colored foods, You need right? the colored foods. <laughs> right. So we start with eggplant, when all the, all the purples and dark colors are so good for you because they have anthocyanins, which are antioxidants, they help prevent aging. Cabbage is also great, it's also full of antioxidants, one of the best categories of foods, lots of anthocyanins. Lots of red cabbage, and, oh, any color cabbage, right? Cruciferous vegetables in cruciferous general? Cruciferous vegetables are great, and the broccoli, uh, artichokes are amazing. Artichokes actually have powerful detoxifying compounds and they have prebiotics that help fertilize all the good bugs in your gut. We know how important gut bacteria are to your health. Well, why aren't you putting them in the okay, basket yeah, there, gonna, Doc? All right, we're gonna make that. All right, a little broccoli. The next category of the pyramid, which is good quality fat. Because people are afraid of fat. <laughs> now we got avocados, and you can mash avocados those up and make- Avocados are uh, so trendy now, you can make chocolate pudding out of them, oh, it, right? Yes, you gotta get Rachel's olive oil. Olive Thank oil you. is a staple fat. So Lots healthy of, fats. Other good fats, nuts and seeds are great fats, and also, Omega-3 fats, which we'll talk about with the protein in a minute. Gotcha. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to uh, get some protein. So come over here to my uh, little good- uh, protein aroma. protein aroma. So what, the thing about protein is you want quality, right? So there's a lot of different kinds of protein out there, but we wanna stay away from the factory farmed animals as much as possible. It's not good for you. Even if good. you eat a animal diet, you really need to know where your food comes from. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's bad for you, it's bad for them, it's bad for the planet. It's one of the biggest causes of climate change and environmental destruction. So you wanna have grass-fed meat, I and mean, you can get it cheap. There's resources in the book where you can they actually- They sell sustainable seafood and, and, and grass-fed meats literally at Walmart and Target. Yeah, like, exactly. There is no yeah, you can get a Costco. Not, exactly. and, then, and wild fish. Now, fish is really good because in protein, you can get nutrients you can't get, for example, in vegetables. Like B12, there's a lot of extra antioxidants. It's high-quality, high, dense protein. You have to eat three cups of, of quinoa to get you know, four ounces of, of, of steak. Of lean right. steak, right. And then fish is great, too. So you want small fish. They're called the smash fish, sardines, Mackerel, anchovies. So salmon is also good. Wild salmon. Make sure you get sustainably raised if it's farmed. You want to of want any body. And pasture raised chicken is also good. So right. pa pasture raised pork, chicken, eggs, also great. So these are all great sources of protein. It's not a high protein diet. It's like mostly plant rich as opposed to plant based. Now we want uh, starchy veggies and fruit. So you want lots of berries. Berries are good. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, pomegranates are great. These are low starchy veggies, and they're really full of antioxidants. Oops. Oh. Now they're all over the floor. Uh, so the blueberries are great, all the berries are great, low, low fruit, uh, And starchy, starchy fruit. veg that and, you like? And I like winter squash, I like uh, the uh, sweet potatoes, the honey nut squash is great, it's full sweet of Sweet potatoes nutrients. are extremely nutrient Yeah, dense. they have carotenoids and antioxidants. Mm -hmm. So it's all this is medicine. Everything you're eating here is medicine, helps prevent disease, prevents Alzheimer's, cancer, and so forth. We forgot uh, the quinoa and the wild rice for grains. So you can have for grains. grains? You can have grains, right? And, and you're getting grains, and it's good grains that are low starch, and low, uh, uh, low glycemic, and they don't, not a lot of gluten, because gluten can be irritating for people. And then the last thing is treats, you get treats. Uh, I call these recreational treats. Everybody loves sugar, 